Hi everyone, welcome to Best Wines. I'm Hamish, I'll be your host tonight. So now, today we're talking about um, Fuja Ferment Riesling. It is a new incarnation for us. We've been making it since 2012. It, to me it's a, a new wine, but sort of built, made an old way. So a Fuja is, for those who don't know what a Fuja is, it is a large oak barrel. Um, it's a French word for a barrel. So the barrel that it's made in is a two and a half thousand litre. This year, we have two large barrels. We bought a French one and recently bought a, 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 an Austrian one. And this year, we've only used the Austrian barrel. The reason why it's come up a lot better, we just felt that it was the far superior wine for this year. So following what we normally do, um, we only ever pick the best bit. So the fruit that goes into this comes from our Great Western vineyards here. It is then put into the press. Most of the juice is then run off. And then we actually leave it on skins. If I'm talking too much, because I really like this one. I love what we do with it. I love how it, it turns out. Um, so once it's been settled, it goes into the barrels themselves. We don't add yeast, so it goes through a natural ferment. We just wait for it to start. Uh, we try and keep the temperature below 20 degrees. If it gets to 20 degrees, we cool it down just a little bit. Barrels have a habit of keeping their great insulator, so one of the things you get during a fermentation is a bit of ex extra heat. Extra heat makes the yeast go faster, so it sort of exaggerates itself. So you just got to keep a cap on it. Um, we just watch it. It can take three or four weeks. It's not a fast fermentation, so it's nice and long and elongated. And you get these lovely sort of characters, but also with a little bit of air coming through the oak, it tends to soften that palate structure. So it binds with the, the coarseness that you get out of the skins and makes it a much rounder sort of texture. That combined with the rounder sort of lemon type acids that we get here in Great Western makes this lovely broad structural wide, wide wine. Um, how am I talking about it without tasting it? I don't really know. Maybe I've had a sip of it or two with prior. Um, it takes me several goes to, to sort out what the wine tastes like. <laughs> I'm almost getting sherbet coming off initially, but quite lemon rind dish. Um, not lemon pith, but lemon rind. Really quite good. It speaks to me of, of local Riesling. The local Rieslings in this area, not just, not just best, but the other producers all have a similar kind of acid structure and flavor. Almost white peach, stone fruit. Um, I was going to say violets, but there's, it's not. It's, there's areas of that lovely perfume that's coming off it, but it's on the uh, stone fruit side. Now, we've poured this wine tonight just temperature wise. Um, it's about six, seven degrees, because we find that you get a lot of harshness coming out when it's too cold, and as it warms up, it gets really lush and round. You get all the aromatics coming out and all the flavour on the palate. Mm. The palate is broad, it's round, it's lifted, it's aromatic. Um, I like it with a, a variety of fishes, but also into things like um, chicken with, well James, my son, made um, chicken, chicken and mushroom gnocchi last night, and that was, it was a creamy sauce. And this has the weight and texture, it's got the broadness to go with a dish that has that kind of weight. You can put it with Asian foods because it combines with the spiciness that you get out of those kind of foods. So it's really a diverse wine. And it's one reason I actually like to put it with food because I can put it with a lot of foods. So it's, it's, it's an easy going reasoning as far as I'm concerned. So um, I think this has got a little more intensity than 21, to be honest. 21 was gentler. Around. It had the same acid structure and the same flavor, but it didn't quite have the same intensity. So 22, it was a very, very short year, a oh, small year as in fruit wise. Um, we lost half our, our flowers basically during spring when it was extremely windy. So our fruit levels were about half. So we've got a lot less this year than we did last year. Um, and we cut it down as well because one of the barrels didn't actually, wasn't quite as good as the other. So there's not that much of it this year. But yeah, I reckon that, that certainly, to me, gives the 21 a run for its money. So yeah, pretty happy with that. So um, 
I think that's about it today. So thank you for joining us. If you want more information, jump onto our website and or follow us on YouTube. Thank you very much. Cheers.